spotting is who's not on the bus. I think I've already mentioned this, you know, in terms of do people want to be on the bus, do people want to play in the game, are people really behind the programme? And I think in, in any event, in any programme, there are always three types of people. People who really get it and will shout from the rooftops about it. People that are fairly neutral, not too sure, it'll take a bit of time. And there are people that just don't want to do it. It's not for them, it's not right. And I really think you can spend so much time with that third group of people. But if they're not going to get on the bus, they just have to, you know, go somewhere else. And I'm being quite brutal about that. Probably breaks a few HR guidelines. But if you really want to change a company's capability, really transform it, it does come down to the people. You can have the best signage in the world and Virgin Media this. It's about the people, the way they own that brand, the way they promote that brand in the marketplace. So I think spotting who is on the bus and using the stats not just to work out who your customer detractors are, but who your internal detractors are is just as vital. Because that person could be the one sat in front of a customer next week and they say something like NPS, whatever, you know. That just kills us. These people need to change and move on.